Yeah. It's probably going to be cold, isn't it? It'll be <laughs> 33 for a high on Saturday. All right. And during the game time, it will be it's okay. Barely. So if the rivalry doesn't test yeah. the relationship, yeah. the, the temperatures the will. will. I guarantee <laughs> it'll be hotter on the field than it will be in the stands. Gotcha. Mm. All, right. All right, Sugar House Park, this is the classic. You went there as a kid, didn't you? I did. I'm sure everybody has been to Sugar House Park. This park has been around forever and ever and ever. And if you don't go and enjoy a slide down the hill on a day like today, yes, it was cold. You had to bundle up, but we had plenty of sunshine and lots of fun. Just don't hit too hard. Ouch. Crash. Bang. Boom. Big ridge of high pressure over the western United States, and yes, we are in the sunshine right now. This ridge is going to actually keep us cold until this front that's right there. You look at the, look at how big this low pressure is. This encompasses the entire Gulf of Alaska. Now, granted, it won't entirely move in on top of us, but this is a storm for Sunday. So listen to me very, very carefully. If you have to travel, don't travel on Sunday travel on Saturday. Okay, we're going to talk more about why that is important in just a minute. 19 outside right now, 54% humidity, and thank goodness the winds are calm. And the barometer, 30.57, that is a very, very high barometer. Now with the cold air, it gets trapped in the valleys, so we're actually as cold as Boise. We're colder than Cody. We're colder than Great Falls, than Cheyenne and Denver. So there's very cold air over the entire state of Utah. And with snow on the ground, Cedar City 11 below zero, Panguitch 29 below zero. We showed you that earlier. And folks, it won't be quite as cold tonight, especially along the Idaho border. We have a thin layer of clouds coming in. That'll act as a blanket to keep places like Montpelier and Preston and parts of the Cache Valley from being as cold as last night. Now, Logan last night dropped to 20 below zero. That's brutal cold. High pressure over us, though, and uh, yeah, the high pressure will move. Watch what happens when we put these maps into motion. This is the time frame. This is Friday. We're going about 2 p.m. Friday. Nothing over us, a few clouds up around Yellowstone Park. Here comes a cold front. We're going to time this. You watch the timer. There's 2 a.m. on Saturday. So Saturday morning, as you wake up, sunshine. In the afternoon Saturday, here comes the clouds. So increasing clouds, this will not, okay, time is 6 p.m. Game time is earlier than 6 p.m., so no chance for any snow during the game. Maybe a little south wind up there at the uh, Rice-Eccles Stadium, and this cold front, this low pressure, that is going to hit us on Sunday. So if you listen to me carefully, I'm going to say it again. If you need to travel to go home, travel on Saturday, this storm will be here Sunday, and it will be a terrible day to travel. It's not a big, big, huge storm, but it's big enough to cause a lot of problems. Again, below zero in the basin, 35 in Hanksville, 34 in Moab, very, very cold at night, minus 6 in Price, minus 10 in Roosevelt. And in southwest Utah, you were 21 in St. George this morning, coldest morning you've had in a long time. You'll be 24 overnight tonight, tomorrow morning. Cedar City, you were down to 10 below last night. Not quite as cold tonight. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. Nephi will be 29 and 0. So we warm it to 52 on Saturday. That front will mainly affect areas north of the Black Ridge. So it'll hit the Pine Valley Mountains, the Beaver Dam Mountains, and it'll certainly hit Zion National Park. Only a 20% chance for a shower on Sunday. And then after that, it's kind of clouds coming and going across southern Utah. Now here's the four forecast for the northern part of the state. It will not be as cold tonight. Logan will be minus six, and that's because we'll have a few clouds over the top of Cache Valley. There will be some fog in Cache Valley tonight, so be careful if you're driving. Salt Lake City, 26 and six. <laughs> okay, so that's a degree warmer wow. than you were asking for. Thanks. 33 on yeah. Saturday game day, 32 with the snow on Sunday, and there's another little storm a week from today showing up on the charts. So we're kind of now in this five to seven day trend where we're getting we storms. So Sunday should be interesting. All yeah, right. don't travel on Sunday, travel on Saturday. I said that three times. Right. If everybody doesn't have that. Saturday. All right. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. We ate the turkey. Now it's time for TV, gotcha. right? Yeah. A lot of good football. <laughs>